And our folks go win the ball game. Play for yourself, play for each other. All right, that's what we do. Okay? Play for the man next to you. Fam on three, fam on three. One, two, three. Man. He sucked again. The ball picked up. They got over to the end zone. Big plays back to back. Boom. Touchdown, Carolina. Are you kidding me? The Gamecocks win it. Welcome into Gamecock football with Will Muschamp. It's our open date edition as the Gamecocks are regrouping, resting, and recruiting, getting ready for the season finale against the Clemson Tigers. Uh, Coach, you know, with the game on the 30th, the battle for the state, I know you're concentrating on that a lot, but have you had a chance to kind of look back at the season and see how the team's gotten here to this point? Well, I think in any open week, whether it's late in the season or early, you always go back and review kind of where you are. And, and you know, the one word that pops up to me has just been very inconsistent. Obviously, uh, have not gotten the production offensively, especially the latter part of the season. Uh, been very inconsistent in the run game, something we've kind of relied on, especially in our last two ball games. Uh, been so unpredictable as far as being able to get those things going and explosive plays offensively. Defensive, I think we've really improved as the season's wore on. Uh, some big plays against Tennessee you know, strikes in my mind and some of the inconsistencies early in the year. Coach, you had to play with two quarterbacks. You had a, a three-year starter coming back, and then Ryan Alinsky's into that process now, whether he was ready to or not or take the job. He's under or right about 60% passing completion, but he's had some gains in his up and downs. Is most of that just freshman play, or do you see anything that Ryan specifically needs to work on, not only for the season finale, but going forward? Well, there's a lot of things we can work on, a lot of things he's going to learn from. And what's going to happen for him in the offseason is the game is going to really slow down for him. He's going to be able to go back and watch the tape. And, you know, really, you go through the summer with Jake throwing to our receivers all summer, and then after the first ball game, Ryan's in that role, as you know, Todd, as well as anybody. And, and uh, it's a very difficult role to be in. We need to play better around Ryan. Ryan's done some really good things, and, and we'll all learn from this year. Because at the end of the season, you're always worried about injuries, and we've had a rash of them on offense, particularly this season. The wide receiver spot has been hit. How are we doing health-wise? Well, Brian Edwards had meniscus a scope. Uh, this week and then uh, disappointed for him. He's doubtful for the game, but it's going to have a wonderful career as he continues to move forward. Uh, but I think we'll be as healthy as we've been. Or Trey Smith, uh, Xavier Leggett, uh, Tavian Feaster back at running back, Mon Denson back at running back. We'll get all those guys back. Or Trey Smith as well. Tavian Feaster's back as well. I know he had a bad groin injury. Yeah, he did. I think well, I feel good about him going in this game. He, he wants to play in this one. Well, other than Brian Edwards, and we thank him for a contribution. That's good news on our Prisma Health Injury Report. Hey, coming up next, we're going to take a look at some Gamecocks who are doing very well this season in the NFL. That's coming up next on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTB. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. season is here and it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event now for a limited time get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards the Ford Black Friday event ends soon so hurry in today now get 20% estimated savings on select F-150s and Rangers plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards only at your Carolina Ford dealer Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. 
the roots of the food you eat, those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Look at Debo Samuel. Uh, Coach, we gave him the ball in a lot of different ways when he was here at South Carolina, and I think the San Francisco 49ers have learned that as well. 16 catches in the last two ball games alone, really coming into his own midway through the season. Talk about Debo a little bit and the importance of our Gamecocks doing well in the NFL. Well, I miss Debo a lot. <laughs> I think all, all the Garnet and Black do, but uh, what a fantastic player and just a wonderful person. Uh, uh, John Lynch, their general manager, and Kyle Shanahan, their head coach, called me after the Senior Bowl, and they had coached him in the Senior Bowl. And they're like, does this guy practice like this all the time? And I said, exactly. That's what you're going to get every single day. And, of course, they drafted him, I think, the first pick in the second round. Uh, they called me after he'd been in training camp and just said, wow, this guy's really, really good. He's exactly what you said. But you got to credit a lot to Brian McClendon, mm -hmm. his position coach, and and, and, and teaching these guys how to practice the right way, obviously teaching them a lot of different base fundamentals that they're going to need on the next level, did a fantastic job. But all of our guys, you look at Stephon Gilmore is the best corner in the National Football League right now. You look at the number of franchise players we have as far as Melvin Ingram, Jadavion Clowney, all of those guys representing us in a first-class manner. And people immediately associate them with South Carolina as well, and it's got to help in recruiting, I assume. There's no doubt about it. You look at the Hayden Hurst being a first-round pick of the Baltimore Ravens, a former walk-on that earned a scholarship and came here and just did, had a fantastic career. And then we're, we're going to do very well again in the draft this year. Developing players for the NFL, part of South Carolina football. Coach, it is open date, but one game to go. It's a big one. Because it's so late in the season, we've been banged up some. Do you change that schedule? How's it gone this week? And even talk about recruiting if you get out on the road some. Well, we gave them two days, uh, which we normally give them one day earlier in the year. Uh, but I thought it was good for them to be able to get away from us a little bit, get some treatment, get healthy. Uh, then we had a, a workout walkthrough type deal. And then we had two practices in the open week. Feel good about what we got accomplished there. And uh, staff was able to recruit on Friday, which is really important to uh, we're getting close to the contact period on December 1st, so that was the last evaluation opportunities we had. And then gave the staff off on Saturday, and we got back at it Sunday. Coach, um, you mentioned already uh, in, the off, uh, in the open date, can you deal with that running game? 66 yards on the ground in the last two ball games combined. It almost seems like someone's unlocked a secret against us and figured out what we're doing. Do you find that or, well, or something we can work on? More, more movement, very similar to what Missouri did early in the year. A little bit more movement. We need to handle the movement better as far as blocking it up front. But, uh, again, I think as much as anything, Todd, if we can get some things explosive game passing-wise, that's going to help us get people off of us a little bit. We're, we're normally running against a pretty loaded box right now. And I think when you do better in the passing game, that gives some opportunity in the run game. That's right. The fear of the deep ball opens it up a lot, whether you're hitting them or not. All right, when we come back, look at the sights and sounds of the 2019 season.
win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Right side into the end zone. It is over the 10 at the pylon. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Carolina. And that's Feaster. Left side, Feaster the 20. 10 5. Katie and Feaster for the first touchdown of his career for the Gamecocks. Two is under pressure. Rolling left side. Tua goes down at the 21 yard line. Javon Kenlaw. Ryan got some time. Throwing down the field into coverage. Shy Smith there. Got it. Leaping up. Caught. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Shy Smith. Looking left side. Caught at the 10 and running into the end zone. Feaster right up the middle. Feaster right into the end zone. And here they come. Five men coming. Bryant. Underneath throw is picked up in 20. Head down at the 10 yard line. Heading towards the end zone. Knocked out of bounds just before he got to the pylon. Flea flicker to Holinsky. Holinsky down the field. Walt Edwards. It's a jump ball. And Bryant's got it at the 25 yard line. He's under pressure. He's got to throw it late. Into coverage and picked up. With Carver down the near sideline at the 30, at the 20, run to Carver. <laughs> it's a touchdown, Carolina. Take that, Georgia. Got a man who breaks at 25. We go down on the 10, the 5 for the pylons. Beaster fighting for the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. 
a one-handed <laughs> leaping Edwards. Crossing route, man in the end zone, caught, touchdown. And they snap it back. Like it did. Block. It's it's block. Block. He's going to look to the turf because he's down. That's DJ Wadham. That's Brian Edwards opening up at the 40, the 30. Gets one block down the field, the 15, 10, diving to the pylon. Ernest Jones, the linebacker. 15, 10, 5, reaching for it. Touchdown, Carolina. Throw underneath. In and intercepted. And in picked off. Bruce Palmer's got the football. And no good! He missed it! He missed, it. He missed it. it! And the game talks went into the offense. Final score in overtime, South Carolina 20 and Georgia 17. Welcome back. Uh, Coach the University in Athletics has made a commitment to the fan experience and the recruiting experience at williams Bryce Stadium. Talk to us a little bit about the renovations that are going on now. On the south end zone, they're going to have a 2001 club, which would be a really neat kind of a Dallas Cowboys interest for our, mm -hmm. for our players uh, to let our fans be a part of the entrance at williams Bryce coming out of 2001, which obviously is the best entrance in college football. And then that, that lets our fans have a little bit more access to us, uh, redoing really the whole entire south end as far as the, the infrastructure of, mm -hmm. of it, a new recruiting area for us, but also some fan amenities that's going to really help them uh, really enjoy williams Bryce even more, and then a bunch of load seating on the, on the east side of the stadium that's again going to create a great game day atmosphere for our fans. You know it's amazing you got to pack in all that time when you got them on campus they need to see the best of Gamecocks and, and that'll allow us to do it on game day. No doubt about it it's going to be a huge factor for us in the recruiting process and putting our best foot forward and uh, it, again anything I think it's the investment in the student athletes what they see and they know if we're able to invest in our stadium and obviously the, the Ken and Cindy Long facility here is as nice as anywhere in the country. Well we thought you might want to take a look at the early renovation plans at williams Bryce Stadium. Up next, we'll hear from Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, and HNTB Design Firm. We wanted to capitalize on this project and um, reach further than just athletics and Gamecock football. I'm standing with Braden Deese. He's a sports venue management uh, intern for us, and this project was ideal to expose him to what, what it is to manage a venue such as this with 85,000 seats. And um, we're just excited to bring Braden on and expose him to this opportunity. This internship has led to a huge opportunity for me to learn how a venue is managed behind the scenes during construction and during season. I hope to leave my mark on the University of South Carolina by helping with this construction in the future. Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. The season is here. And it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event. Now for a limited time, get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The Ford Black Friday event ends soon, so hurry in today. Now get 20% estimated savings on select F-150s and Rangers plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards only at your Carolina Ford dealer. When is the last time you traced your roots, not your family's roots? The roots of the food you eat, those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste.
And when the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Jake Bentley the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the football team, Bentley is a senior sport and entertainment management major with a 3.428 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Their own 47, Fromm again working in the pocket. He's under pressure, he's got to throw it late, into coverage and picked off. Mukwamu down the near sideline, at the 30, <laughs> at the 20, run Mukwamu! <laughs> into the end zone, touchdown Take Carolina! Take that, Georgia! Touchdown, <laughs> Israel Mukwamu! 53 yards out! Are you kidding me? First. Boom! That's our Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play, Coach, on the road? against the top five football team. Uh, is he making a big play for a pick six? I'm not sure anything's bigger. Been bigger in a long time around Gamecock football than that play. Huge two-man game between Javon Kenlaw and Dennis Warnham up front. They run a perfect pass rush game. Uh, Javon gets great pressure, throws Fromm into a, a poor decision, and Israel makes an unbelievable interception and return for a touchdown. Fromm had not had a pick in the season up until that point. Great day for the Gamecocks. Now our some of the next pest players of the season so far. Coach, it's hard to pin down just one. You've had some exceptional play. Your thoughts on who you give that to at this point in the season? Well, offensively, you got to go to Brian Edwards. The, the, the year he's had, he's walking out of here with the receptions leader, the total yardage leader, uh, one of the best receivers ever in, in, in South Carolina history, and just a phenomenal career. Uh, came here off a, a three-win season and, and a guy that really entrusted us and uh, really excited about him and, and obviously his future. And on defense, Javon Kenlaw. Uh, a guy that came here from Goose Creek High School uh, down in Charleston and, and had to go to junior college and had, then came here. And, but both Brian and Javon made the decision to come back to South Carolina for their senior years, and they both approached it the right way. They attacked the offseason. They attacked spring practice. They attacked the summer program. They're in the best shape they've ever been in, and they have enhanced and, and, and improved themselves in the, as far as their draft status is concerned, and both of them have played at a high level. You can be a novice football fan and see those two guys jump off the field any time that they're playing. You're right there. Senior season's made a huge difference. When we come back, we're going to look ahead to the Clemson game. But first, let's hear from Mike Carolina. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. season is here and it's time for our best offer of the year during the Ford Black Friday event now for a limited time get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards the Ford Black Friday event ends soon so hurry in today now get 20% estimated savings on select F-150s and Rangers plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards only at your Carolina Ford dealer 
Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTB. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. Time for our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. Coach, you got a rivalry game. Another good Clemson team, no doubt about that. Some of those names we all know, the Lawrence kid, ETN, Simmons on defense. Apparently they're stacked again. Well, they got a good football team. You know, Lawrence is playing really well. I'd like to talk to those people that said he wasn't playing well early in the year. I can't figure out exactly what they're talking about. I, I don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> but he's got a big arm. He can make all the throws. He's very athletic. He can hurt you with his legs. Idian's a, one of the best backs in the country, really can run. They've got some talented guys at the receiver position, obviously, some bigger receivers. But I do think we match up well with them outside. And then, you know, they've lost some guys in the front seven, but they're really rolling and playing a bunch of guys. You said Isaiah Simmons is probably one of the most versatile players in college football. He'll align up anywhere from being a defensive end to a stack linebacker to a deep safety. Uh, so he's a really good player, but they're, you know, Brent's got him playing really hard on defense, and they, and they got a good team, but we're looking forward to having him here at williams Bryce at noon. That's a noon kickoff, Coach. I think that helps us. We played well so far at noon this year, but we'll need williams Bryce Stadium rocking. There's no doubt about it, and I know our fan base will be there excited about this, and this is our rival. This is our biggest game of the season. We're excited about it. Got to win the state. Hope you'll be there with us to do it. Thanks for being with us on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. We'll see you after the Clemson game.